What's up, people? Chris here to do a vid. I honestly had uh, no intentions on doing. Um, the only boxing vid I plan on doing this week was I was going to do a vid in regards to Evander Holyfield's retirement, but now I guess word came out today that now he said he's not going to retire. So if and when he does officially retire, maybe I'll make that vid at the time. But for the time being, um, one of my subscribers, Gangsta Nikes, asked me to drop a prediction vid for Danny Garcia, Eric Morales, too. And now don't get me wrong, I'm going to watch this fight. I'm going to watch this card on Showtime. Um, I'm digging that when Golden Boy has these cards on Showtime, they they stack four fights. You know, this is, I believe, the third time they've done that. The first one didn't go as bad, uh, so good. The last one, the Canelo Lopez um, card, went really good. So, I don't know. On paper, this one doesn't look like it's going to be the best night of fights, but there's a couple of interesting matchups on there. As far as the main event, Garcia Alexander or Garcia versus Morales 2, why I have no interest in it? Because I think it's pretty clear cut. Um, now, granted, Morales did a lot better than I thought he would ant anticipate he would do in the first fight. He actually gave Garcia a lot of problems. Um, but ultimately, at the end, once he got knocked down, he was pretty much done, and he almost got stopped at the end of that fight. I don't know what he has left in the tank, but he might have left what little bit of it was in the final two frames of that fight, that first fight between Garcia and himself. Either way, I'm still not that high on Danny Garcia. I know we knocked out Amir Khan. I know he's still undefeated. But it's not like he was destroying Amir Khan before he caught him with that left that knocked him down to the neck. I believe Khan was winning that fight up to that point. Now credit to him for winning the fight the way he did, but I still think he is easily hit. But he's got a lot of defensive flaws. I think if Garcia faces a guy like Lucas Matisse, I favor Matisse all day. Rios, not so for sure, but I'd love to see it. As for this one now, I'm going with Garcia. He should improve every time out. I do think he has improved since early on mm -hmm. in his career when he was really getting laced up by counter shots against no-name guys. So I do think he's improved um, technically in there. And I just think Morales, too many miles on the odometer. Valiant efforts against Marcos Maidana and Garcia in the first fight. But Garcia wins this one. I think he's going to win by stoppage. Just um, putting a little too much damage. For the ref sakes on Eric Morales, unless he smokers the ref. So I'll go with Garcia by late round stoppage. Co main event of the night. Randall Bailey, Devin Alexander. Um, Devin Alexander. Decision. Um, I just think he's a much better boxer than Randall Bailey. Randall Bailey's too one dimensional to be the guy like Devin Alexander, in my opinion. Um, I know that, you know, I mean, look what Mike Jones. He almost outboxed. Bailey to a decision. I don't think Jones is the boxer that Alexander is, even though Jones has different advantages over Bailey than Alexander does, mainly obviously being height and reach. But Bailey's a better boxer here. He should win by decision. Um, I think Bailey's too old, mm -hmm. too slow, too one dimensional with that one shot to catch Alexander. If he can clip him, he could finish him, but I don't see it happen. I see Alexander putting on the kind of performance he did against Marcos Maidana um, at that fight, in that fight at Welterweight. So Goal to Alexander by decision. What are your guys' thoughts on these fights? Alexander Bailey, who do you see winning? Who would you prefer winning? I prefer Bailey, but I don't see it happening. And Garcia Morales. Um, anyone pick Morales? Anybody? Anybody? No. But uh, what round does Garcia get it done in? Or does Morales make, Morales make it all 12? That's it for now. Maybe I'll be back uh, the next night, the night of, to give thoughts on this event post-fight. But... Unlikely, unless it ends up being just really good fights. But until then, everything science finds related. Links and information, as always, was linked to my Twitter. Um, and on that note, I'm out.